Hi friends, it's Saturday, October 11th, 2014. Lynn and Jamie here continuing our assignment. For today's session, the physical symptom that we are supposed to use as the anchor is one of mental fuzziness. So our intention for the session is to heal the root causes of mental fuzziness and whatever it represents for us as individuals, for the biosphere, for the galaxy, for the universe, for the multiverse or the mother universe, in such a way as to align all of us with our soul plans and to trigger the awakening whose time has come. And now it begins. Moving aside the mental body. Wow. It's like a beached whale. It is like a beached whale, this mental body. Like a, and it just feels like dead weight. Right, Whoa. dead, bloated. Blubbery, dead weight. The physical body of this mother universe feels much the same. Very similar. Dead, blubbery, dead weight. The emotional body does not feel like blubbery, dead weight. The emotional body feels... Sparky, angry, yeah. alive, furious, rage, rage. Sparking with rage. The hospital room that Mother Universe is in is not brightly lit. No, it's but from from her perspective. From her perspective, it's so bright and so she's in a coma. Yeah. And the energy is getting ready to leave the body. That's true. It's like it's packing up. Packing? Yes, I see it packing. Yeah. And the light is very bright, but it's the light from the other side. Yeah. And there's a being walking around, uh, a higher dimension being, and it's got like a clipboard or, or something like a portfolio yes. holding paperwork on it and uh, wanting to escort her, but not pushing. It's like, take your time, pack your thing. Right, I'll be here. I'm here. Uh, he says he's there for the duration, and yes. so I ask him what that means, and it seems to be of the transition. He's there. He's a transition expert, yeah, or, or something like that. And he just this uh, is what he does. This is what he does. Is he shows up when people are at this stage, and he escorts them through the process, and when and helps them get to where they're supposed to go and get going on the other side. Yes, but on his clipboard, it almost looks like an itinerary. It does look like an itinerary, and it looks like, uh, 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 you know, one of those things where you go on a tour of Europe in 10 yes, days, yes, 10 exactly. countries, 10 days, and here's, here's where we're going this time, and this stop, and then this right. stop, and then this stop, and then this stop, and on we go. And there's a packing list. There's a packing list, and that's what she's supposed to be packing. Yeah, I'm not convinced she's packing she's the right thing. She's not things. doing a very good job. She doesn't seem to be packing what he says to pack. She seems to be packing other things. And she has this uh, very angry about the packing list, totally disdainful. Doesn't and she won't even look at it. He's going, "You're going to want to, you're going to want this," and she's going, "I don't even." That's those are not my things. She, we have to remember that she still is an addict of virtual reality right, games. Right, the belief of I can make up what my reality is. She believes she gets to decide what's real. Right. And that's not how it works. Right. <laughs> so she's blowing off the list. Who this this higher dimension being knows what he's talking about. Oh yeah, his list is quite accurate. These are the things that she will need. She won't need any of that right. other stuff. It's like she's bringing a snorkeling mask. How may we be of service? It's like we can get on the bus, the tour bus. We can get on the bus. Yeah. She does not want to get on this bus. Who else is on this bus? No, but I like them. Somebody's waving from her yeah. face. Hi. 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 In the back. In, in the, the way, in the way, way, way back. back. And we just go sit back with them. Yeah. Feels good. It's a happy bus. They're playing happy music. Yeah, and people are chatting happily. Everyone seems to be... On their way to Club Med. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels it does. like Club Med bus. People are loosening up. Yes, the, the bus that comes to the airport to pick us up. Yeah. Right. People are loosening up. And there's a G.O. on the bus, leading... Telling jokes. Yes, that's right. Making people feel at home. I want to go back to that person in the back. Yeah. It's somebody I really like. 
It could be the Christ consciousness from that planet that just went down. Oh, it could be. That could be. It could be who it is. Well, oh. definitely he would be transitioning roughly now, right? That's true. Well, it's a super honor to be in the presence if that's who you are. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> I would like your autograph. And he's in vacation clothes. He's in his vacation clothes he's and he's got, like, autographing. He's a Hawaiian shirt and a hat. <laughs> <He does>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice hat. Yeah. And he's got flip flops. And he's just grinning. And he's super happy. He is so, he's just so happy, so happy. He's happy to sign my autograph yeah. book. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm a big fan of yours. May we ask, what's your secret? What is the most important thing that you know? And he just points to stretching, stretching. He says, you got to hit the target to target uh, in every moment. If you aren't hitting target to target in every moment, you're not at the starting line. Right. To take us our working theory in every moment that we aren't target to target, oh, right? Yeah. Because we're either assuming that we are or Which we're assuming that we aren't. It's likely that we more aren't. Yeah. Uh, much more likely. Much that more. That we are not reaching target to target. In every moment. Because the moment we <gasps> ooh, remove our focus from the the energy body, it shrinks. shrinks. It shrinks. And so now he's talking about why that is. He says lots of contributory factors. Yeah. Fearfulness and thinking. And each of us has a different like poisonous brew that we drink right. that causes us to slip into unhelpful patterns. So how may we be of service? The bus is ready to take off. I yeah. see now the guy uh, at the front. Uh, um, we maybe we missed what happened. I see Mother Universe. She's sitting. Oh, she's so fat. She's sitting over there on the other side of the aisle. She is so angry. She's. Uh, she fumes are coming off right. of her. I don't see anyone else that's grumpy on this bus. It's just like she is the grumpy person on the bus. Well, there might be other grumpy people, but she definitely, if they were handing out a ribbon for most grumpy, she would she win would the, get ribbon. the ribbon. Uh, but they're just kind of ignoring that. The, the GOs on the bus yeah. are ignoring that and uh, talking about what's going to happen and where we're going and first stop and what to expect and it's going to be fabulous and uh, here we go and everyone's yay! yay and again I see that hospital room and I hear a machine going beep beep, beep. beep. yeah that's exactly what I heard and the nurses are coming over and they don't look surprised or upset or anything it's just like well no. <sighs> there it is there it is Okay, so now we'll just, uh, you know, so clearing, and they're beginning to clear, clear it out, taking yeah. off the sheets. My perception is that, that she has left her physical body, yes. or has begun the process of leaving her physical body. As we know, it takes some time for yes. the energy to fully leave. It doesn't seem as though they're, uh, I'm asking to be shown, is she headed for an autopsy? They seem to believe no. they know the cause of death yeah. and they're not, there's no autopsy needed and she's just being, where are her loved ones? Why don't there seem to be any? I keep, I had there's no family. for the last several sessions wondered where, she doesn't seem to have family or friends. She seems to be one of those people who is a ward of the state, so to speak. It's very possible that many years ago, there was a strong attempt at intervention, and she rejected the intervention and chose instead to play her virtual reality game. That feels possible. And again, I'm being shown the bell curve and how uh, when we are either uh, on either end of the bell curve we are separate from society yeah some people are lagging society at the low end of the bell curve right. right other people are leading society at the high end of the bell curve either way there's a feeling of being out of step or out of sync with society right yes. she's an obese virtual reality game addict who has not contributed to life or the world around her at all and had two episodes because she was only eating junk food, living with rats crawling over her, etc. That's right? true. Out of step with reality. 
and out of step with society, right? Right. On the other end, we have this Christ presence who we're grateful to sit on the bus with right now, right? Right. Who was out of step, quote unquote, with his planet too, right? Right. Holding space for spirit, <sighs> peace in his heart, beaming love with the world coming down around his ears, right? That's true. So both of them out of step, quote unquote, right? Right. But one of them trailing society and the other leading society. Yes. And that it's okay, this is how bell curves work. Right. <laughs> there has to be an end to, of the bell curve. Right. There's always a leading edge and a trailing edge. That's how it works. And there's always a big bulge in the middle. There's that kid on every bus who seems intent to destroy the bus. They'll, like, pick at the seats, or they'll draw on the wall, or they'll scratch at the window. I feel like she's picking at the seat. She's trying to hurt. She's she wants just to wants hurt. to hurt everything because she's in so much pain. She yeah. doesn't believe she can be pain free. She just wants everyone else to be in pain like her. Right. Instead of stepping up to meet where everyone else is on this bus, everyone else seems to be having a pretty good time. She just wants to bring the bus down. down. Bring, bring everything down. Everybody else is having a G great yeah. time actually we're all having a great time we're singing songs singing songs people are sharing stories laughing like bubbles confetti right finding out how they know each other they're having a great time it's okay she'll it's okay be receiving help very soon the That's best help true. possible there isn't any help better. That's true. She'll be getting precisely the help she needs. We are part of her. It's we fine. Are. We are. We're part of her. And so now we say bon voyage. Bon, bon voyage. voyage. And so now we will soon, all of us, be transitioning. That's we'll true. all be transitioning. So now for us and for all beings who will soon be transitioning, let's just clear out whatever uh, the foggy thinking represents in such a way as to align us all with our soul plans and trigger the awakening right now.